powerful emotion. Hello, I'm Alfie. I think that love is yucky, but it's set from family. Amazing, brilliant, and excited. And probably a bit scary. Three words Bernard Anthony Clink. Love is the, and that's your three words because it's everything. There is nothing beyond love to make anything worth being here for. Trust. What did you say? Comfort. Comfort. Yeah, comfort's a good one. Yeah. Sharing and life. Confusing, lovely and painful. Terrifying. Nauseous, complicated but beautiful. Childhood memories and fairies. Love means do you know about motorbikes? The a meeting of the eyes, isn't it? If somebody can see behind the eyes of the person, uh, very often they see exactly something that sparks that love immediately. I think it's more lust rather than love, but you could look at someone and think, I could love you. I think it's unbelievably rare, but under the rarest of circumstances it does exist and it can happen. And our tour guide sat next to me, or I sat next to her for the first, almost every day talking, just chatting. Didn't even fancy her. After three days, she was the only woman in the world. A chocolate pudding that my mum used to make <laughs> with warm lemon sauce. I was about 11 years old, and there was a girl I met ice skating, and I really loved her. She didn't like me very much. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it was... Amazing at first, but then it just turned to one big confusing mess and just ruined so much stuff. My first love was the most beautiful period in my life because I wasn't sure whether it was unrequited or not, but it was still amazing because it was the first time I'd ever felt something like that and it changed me for the rest of my life. Uh, that's a tough question, that is. Well, my ex still, I don't. Why don't we love everyone? Yeah, yeah. My family, my guinea pigs, all my friends. I love my boyfriend, John. Um, I love my family, um, simply, probably my nephew. He's six and he's absolutely wonderful because he makes me see the world in kind of a different way and I love being with him. I love my friends, I love my family. I don't really love a guy at the moment, so... My first and only love is my wife. <sighs> if, you, if you don't take the risk of loving, you'll, you'll miss out an awful lot. Oh. Stress. All the stress will give you. <laughs> Probably that you worry not only for yourself, but you worry for the other people as well. It makes me miserable half the time when I like someone. I just turn to a miserable person, so I think that's quite negative. If it's unrequited, you can become like slightly obsessed with love. You can become in love with the idea of being in love and not that person. You can sort of build up this idea of their perfections when in fact the best thing about love is the fact that it isn't perfect and it's flawed and you've got to work on it. It has made me aware and more given me more feeling and made me aware of people's feelings and that people can have deep feelings. Since uh, she came into my life, I just like being a good, on, on the good straight line I have. 
made me a better person. Uh, well, in the past, uh, if I've got too involved with the girlfriend, I've sometimes ditched my mates a little bit. And that's, that's gonna be the only way it's changed me. How do you make me feel I don't know, guys, how do you feel? <laughs> yeah, with girls, sometimes girls get a bit like ratty with each other if they're spending too much time with their boyfriends and things like that. So it's the same, really. I do kind of feel loved in a way. I can kind of feel like if you're having a bad day or something, I can kind of remember that I am loved or remember that somebody loves me, especially with my boyfriend. I'll say that I remember that I love you like kind of throughout the day. So I can kind of have a bit of a smile kind of on my face. And I've often said I can be driving home and I can be smiling while driving home because I know that I'm going home to see my boyfriend and I'm going to feel loved when I get there. It's just made me more open to different things as well. Like, I'll experience different things through people I love, and it will just change me in a more positive way, I think, overall. It matured me because I began to understand that actually love shouldn't, you shouldn't just expect it to work straight away. Part of the beauty of it is waiting, maturing from the fact that it doesn't work, and then when it does work, it just feels so beautiful because you know it's so real. The more love you let into your life, more another person you call.